Well, we're not doing much damage to him at all, are we? Welcome back to Enshrouded. So, in the last episode, we managed to, uh, well, kind of defeat Pike's Mead, Pike Mead's Reach. Um, <coughs> that meant I was able to strengthen the flame, and that meant we can now travel to the, um, is it the Gates of Creation? Pillars of Creation? Can't remember what it's called. Uh, so, yeah. Gate to the Pillars of Creation. There you go. Uh, and that happens to be the next thing we need to do anyway, because if we look at the journal, finding the masonry tools, they go to there on the map, it's that. So essentially we have to get through the gates and travel over to the east side. Uh, however, before I do, um, I've got three skill points which I'm keeping a hold of because I'm not sure where I want to spend them yet. Um, we might go for the mining one because as we go further east we're going to find you know, much better um, you know, tin and iron and all that sort of thing. So yeah, maybe go for one of those, but I'm saving up at the moment. Anywho, you'll notice I have in my hand a rather cool axe. And uh, I will show you uh, the axe is the wolf pack axe 38 damage epic very very nice and i've upgraded it as you can see plus 10 blunt plus 10 piercing so and it has very good durability much better than the sword we're using which keeps running out on me <laughs> so um i did it kind of off camera or at least i wasn't narrating as I was doing it and I've put together this little clip that shows you where it is and how to get it so enjoy so here's how to do the emptiness sets in so I'm going to cut through this I'm actually voicing over it because I didn't record um, the microphone when I did it I did it off camera uh, but I was recording in case I hit anything interesting so this is the journey to get there this is where you want to go. This is Hidden Hollow Tomb. Now, I did have to take out a few of these green guys. They're not the really bad green guys. But they do pack a punch. Very proud of that shot. Not so proud of those. using the glide there just to get some distance because they run very very fast and the third guy kind of gave up so we can't have that okay there were a few other guys around as well which I, I uh, cleared up but what you want to do is dig down here I can't really tell you which corner the stairs are in but once you dig through the rubble it's just like any other hidden tomb you'll see often in hidden tombs uh, a guy in here usually there's lava in here and he's died to the lava but if you've done a hidden tomb and couldn't find what you think you should have got then it's probably in this guy's body so you need to stand very carefully next to the lava and, and uh, loot his body I think one of the first hidden tombs you do that's the case but there you go that's the axe it's a very nice axe 32 damage epic and we're going to be using that. So there you go. That's uh, that's how to get it. Not terribly difficult. Just got to know where to look, really. Uh, so by magic, I have transported myself back here. So we're at the uh, gates to the Pillars of Creation. 
and um, hopefully now we should find we can actually enter the place. Let's go and see what all this is about. Aha. Yeah, that's dark. Ooh, dark and spooky. Yes, give me some light. Get rid of that while we see it. We're not stopping here. I think I'm going to have to put a torch on there. I can't see a thing. Where are we going? Stairs both ways. Ah, that's better. What's that over there? Is that. Looks like maybe salt or just. No, I think it's just weeds. Right, let's continue on. Yeah, respawn point, that's nice. And I wonder if there's anything good in these. Apparently not. No, that's a bust. So that was the gate, and this is the Pillars of Creation. Quite a lot of story behind this. Uh, we'll pick some of it up as we go through it. Uh, what have we got here? Copper bars. I don't think I need the wax particularly. I guess we go down before we go round. It's ominous when they give you health. It's a strange structure of death. Okay, so we won't be going any further that way then. Uh, right, we've got to pick a direction then. Left or right? Well, left looks kind of blocked. So, let's go right. Acid bite. Ooh, seen that before. Friendly place. Another acid bite. Do you think it's trying to tell us something? Maybe I should be using a wand? up there. Bronze bars. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Oh, 
All right, let's uh, read the book. Believe the pillars of creation to be an active volcano. Okay, got to rethink her theories. Lots of books. Alright, so I'm not going to smash everything to bits. Let's carry on up here. Um, okay, that doesn't look very friendly. Maybe go round. some strange noises. I'm not sure what those are, but there's something over there that we have to get. So, guessing we carry on? Let's see if there's any goodies in these ones. Yep. What's that? Aha! Feathers. More feathers. Oh, I see bold fire. Okay, so which way do we have to go? Well, I can't see anything that way. I'm guessing it's that way. Oh, okay. Nearly made it without getting hurt. Let's just quickly heal here, just in case I may make a foo bar. Okay, so it's up and next one. Okay, so let's just that was easy enough. Hitting the wall on the other side, I think. Don't panic. Ooh. No loot. Um. Okay, there was a whole load of doors below us, wasn't there? Didn't manage to get to. Um, I'm not going back past the fire now. So, I guess we could probably jump and glide across that, but uh, I don't think I want to take that chance, so... Ooh, I wonder if there's anything up there. Wow. 
massive bite. That's definitely very ominous. Let's have some light on the subject. Oh, there's definitely something down there. I missed that. I think are those the ones we ran over to get here. I have to go and dig that out. Bone dust. Yeah, we're getting some new stuff in these crates. Nothing. Tin bars, nice. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything up here. Not sure whether I want to go up there. Just rock, I think, up there. Ooh, okay. Interesting. It doesn't matter that it's covered in rubble, we can still open the door. Fowler chest. 59, 59 stamina and mana. Guessing that's more... Um, what's the word? Wizardry. So I think probably I think we've done everything. There is a swing hook up there. Let's just check this door out first. stuff to break. Interesting. Another blocked doorway. Let me see if there's anything behind it. <coughs> no, nope, I seem to have hit a floor. Interesting. Now, I kind of don't want to waste my pickaxe on it, so... Spooky. Silver Storm. Be great if I was using ones. Uh, 
looks like a death trap to me. There are some stairs at the end, I think. Hmm, that looks like an obelisk, actually. So this is where we would have got to if we just swung across from there. The locked door, apparently. Okay. Just gonna go back and check that uh, switch. Oh, there we go. So that's <coughs> right. So there's another switch somewhere we've missed. Where did we miss a switch? That was a shooty one. Nothing in there. Something I wasn't looking for. Switches. Yeah, so that's opened both doors now. And it's all dark. that means. <laughs> Something down there and I think I see little bats flying about. Just about make out. Uh, maybe night time is not the best time to be doing this perhaps. So we've come all the way around there, through whatever building this once was. Something way up the top there. Guess that's where we're going. We'll come back and do those side passages in the daytime, I think. has seen better days. Research camp. That's obviously what we've come for. Just have a quick look around here. Um actually that's probably not a bad idea. Let's let's sleep the night away. Still pitch black, but at least it's not night anymore. Uh, I think we need wooden arrows. So this is what we've come to get. Masonry tools.
also on his bow and arrow. Interesting. Just do this one outside while I see it. Experience scroll shroud meteor shower. Not sure what that does. Okay. Completely fumbled it. I plundered his masonry tools and hid them in our own camp. Well, I'm guessing that's what we've just picked up. sorts of goodies. And lots of those experiences. I'm going to have to try and remember to use them. drinking, uh, maybe he shouldn't have had it, because in that bottle this something killed him. Okay. Strange stuff. Right, carrying on up. Goes out that way, carries on up this way. Oh, bats. I think. You dead? Don't really want the fur patches, but may as well take them. And here we are. Welcome to the desert. Desert biome. It 
So I could really do with putting a flame altar up. Uh, lots of smoke coming from down there. Some, some sort of a camp, I think. So yeah, before I get too far in, I'd like to put a flame altar up. If we can find some easy rock. Oh, what are you? Sabertooth. Eh, uh, okay. Hope you die easily. do. Okay, I'll take it. Some kind of a broken bridge down there. Okay. Kind of would have liked to put a flame altar up before we get into any kind of trouble. I do have one spare slot now. Let's see if we can grab a bit of stone. Ugh, limestone. No, I want rock. Where can we get some rock from. You rock. No, you're limestone. Um, okay, well, I'll have to just push on, I think. Cave passage. I hear something tinkling. That usually means a chest. Where would there be a chest around here? just hearing things. So, downwards or darkness? There's definitely, I think those are, yeah, those are Vukar. Yeah. Can we go around them if we go this way? I don't mind fighting them, but I'd kind of, ooh, there's a trap. I would kind of like to have a um, flame altar that I can respawn at if things go bad. Mm, not think we're going to be able to avoid them, are we? Sneak. Very, very quietly. Don't really need the fur. Trying to stay out of the middle just in case there are traps. there. How the heck do you get out of here? That's the shaman there by the look of it. So I'm thinking we have to go through this camp. Is that? That's a Buka champion. I'm actually going the wrong way. I think we need to go east. Uh, kind of 
lost in the mountain here, aren't we? Don't come this way. Is that the guy we saw before? Is that another one? No, I think I'm just going to go for it. Can't see where I'm going. Daylight. I think I see daylight. Of course, there would be a guard on the exit, wouldn't there? And there's another shaman. some height. Lots of copper. Oh, why do you have to go where I want to be? Rocks at me. The trap. Not sure, we got followed. And that looks like a flame thing. Ooh, look, a chicken. I think we made it through successfully, but that doesn't really help. We're in completely the wrong place. Let's go and have a look over there. Sixteen dying down there. Um, trouble is, we can build a base here. If that's any good, it's going to stop things from spawning. We don't know what that is, and I'm not really willing to go and find out until I've got a respawn point. Uh, we've got quite a good jumping off point here. We are yeah, kind of east. Not too far south really, but... Well, we can always move it, so... Uh, let's see, yeah, we can put one here. Alright, let's 
to just go and check that out. It's probably nothing. Probably just a, a ruin, maybe with a small crate in, but. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's probably nothing. God, they, they look mean, don't they? So now you know why I put the uh, flame altar down before I went in there. doing here been guarding something, haven't they? Well, wow. how high does this go? Oh, still going up. Okay, so we um, <laughs> we made it to the desert. Um, <clears throat> I think now's a good time to shoot back and evaluate and drop all this stuff off. We've got a fast travel point here now, so. All right, good morning. So, slept the night away, I've put all my stuff away. It is early morning and yeah, we've got this guy to talk to. It's me. <laughs> you got me some mission tools, perfect. Let's place them nearby so I can get to work. Okay. See you later. So I just um um How big are they? Oh they're not too big. Which way around does it go? Doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, maybe under the window next to you, because you're going to be doing a lot of work for me. So you need them close to hand. Alright, what have you got? You can make me a better bathroom. Super. 
you can make me some tosh lighting that's extremely useful you can make me a posh door aha that's what we need so <clears throat> i've only got one bucket actually i could do with more than one well i think where did i see a bucket um can't remember bathroom tables beds i think it must have been oh there it is bucket so we'll make another bucket and then i'm going to make two water wells because the amount of water i'm going through um yeah we're going to need more than one i think um where am I going to put it? Well, it's the garden that uses it most. So... Don't really want to just put it on the ground. Kind of looks a bit... Eek, on the ground. Let's, um... Yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute. Let's get the rake. Make sure that's flat. I think it is. Oops. So, somewhere around there. Can't remember if I flattened this or not, so we'll just make sure it's flat. there. Looks a bit odd. Yep, let's just be the way it looks. Okay, so let's see now how big these things are. Oh yeah, they're quite big. So where's the middle? Middle is there. So about one and a half blocks back. Something like that. And same with this one. Somewhere around there maybe. Looks pretty good to me. And it's already got water in. How about that? Perfect. Okay. Let's uh, break back in there. And stick the water in there. Converting the, the sugar cane, by the way, the, the sugar cane seedlings. We'll make some of those. We'll get those planted. Uh, hello, what 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 are you Need after? A hand? Almanac for crops. With an almanac of plants and seedlings, we could grow fantastic new crops. I left, left mine at the camp. Yeah, as my caravan fled from danger. Can I just point out that I'm out busy all day and you're stood here doing nothing? You could go and get it. Yeah, maybe not. Um, okay, so we need the almanac to make the better foods. That's that's uh, a given. <clears throat> it looks like we can now make an oven. Significant upgrade to the fireplace offers new food options that can be cooked passively. So kind of a bit like the um, fireplace. Oh yeah, we need the armor for that. This, this is cooking food passively, as you can see. Um, in fact, it's cooked all that, so we can now give it to... Uh, 
that. Might as well get on with those, mightn't you? Alright, so I did promise we would go and have a look at the Gates of Creation passages. So let's just throw these away. And uh, weathered stone, I'm guessing, there. And I've got seven of these experience scrolls, and ten of those on me. Um, I really don't think I need to carry all those, but I've run out of space. <laughs> you don't know, no, we need more boxes. Right, first passage. What have we got in the first passage? Bats. Super. Died. We don't always die with the first hit, so just to be a bit careful. More bats. Come on, fly towards me. Down to 14 copper arrows. Wow. Yeah, see, that one didn't die. I'm going to bother looting them. Over here, why not? Because there's nothing here, apart from some copper. This is, yeah, this is back to, back to the western area. What we got here then? The Vukar camp? Oh, Vukar arena, of course. So, there's going to be a big dude in here, I think. Yeah, that's the big dude there. And a big pool of mud. Um, should we try it? Should we take him on? Probably be very silly. Wonder what he's guarding. Lots of blue stuff, by the way. Lots of dead bodies. You think they're trying to tell me something? Car brawler, and he's aggroed on us. Um, I don't have enough arrows for this. <laughs>
double swipe. He spits his guts out. That doesn't seem to stop him. Crashes the ground. Twice. Yeah, and then he gets tired. So we need to watch for him bashing the ground twice. the ground. It's a swipe, that's no good. Come on, bash the ground. Again. doing much damage to him at all, are we? Try the other sword. The arrows actually have been quite a lot of damage. stuck in the metal mud like I do. Come on, bash the ground. You know you want to. Oh, he's resting. It. We're out of arrows. Bash the ground again. Attack his chest. And just a roar. Swipe if you get too close to him.
We get in there. Slowly but surely. Yes. Maybe he's getting faster. will be there. Crouch down. Okay. okay. That was kind of interesting. So we got a head, some of that, and a melee weapon. Which is Mina's Apothesis. Apoth yeah. Unfortunately, it's going to be a two handed weapon, which I don't really use, but I could try using them, I guess, if I use a board. For a shield. That might be worth a try. Hey, right, okay, so 
Uh, why are you still glowing? I'm guessing this is the big bonfire smoke thing that we saw from above. Uh, no way up there. Um, right, let's continue on through. Checked all that. And that just brings you out into the desert biome. So that's the blacksmith's request straight ahead of us. Workshop. We'll look at that later. Um, right, at the risk of pushing my luck, I... what's that? Oh, that's a dead chicken. Have that. Um, yeah, I'm going to push on and have a quick look to see what's going on over here. run out. I'll just replenish that. Sword is about to die. Ooh, hello. Take it. Actually looks like the sun's about to go down, so I think probably now is a very bad time to be even considering this. So what I'm gonna do is just push on to reveal it on the map. Sixty-four meters. Oh, okay, no ammo. Ooh, that's bad. He does look to be stuck, but you can guarantee he's not the only one. There you go, he's not stuck anymore. He managed to poison me. Blighter. I heard ya. There's a baby one there as well. Oh, yeah, I can't shoot you. shooting me. How come they don't blow themselves up? Alright. You said they'd be here on Monday by noon while well, I waited for ages to pick up the parcel with Oswald Anders. Blah 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 blah. So in my defense I told them not to take that route. It might be their last. Okay, so that's just a clue. Anything in here? Seems to have spent the entire of this episode in the dark. Oh, hello. No, not playing with you in the dark. No arrows. Oh god, he's coming after me. That looks like a booby trap. Bird meat lying around like that. 
That's very unsanitary. Somebody's annoyed with me. I heard somebody shouting. Maybe we lost them. All right, let's have a look. These creatures. Slipped out of his hands before he had a chance to use it. Vukar. Okay. More Vukar lore. Um. Right. I think our journey step has now moved. Completed another step in it. Yeah. So we've got to go further east for that. Um. <coughs> I'm kind of at the end of uh, my time for this episode, so I'm going to have to fast travel back and put my stuff away and consider that a, well, successful episode, really. We got quite a lot done. Uh, specifically, we got the water wells up. Now I'm going to build a little, well, try and build a little something over the top of them to make them look uh, a little bit more water welly. Water well, that's even a word. But I'm very glad to have them because, as you can see, you get lots of water and we need lots of water for the garden, so. There we go. I'm going to chuck that straight in there. Um, you do use water to make this chamomile tea. So that's that's a thing. But um, yeah, I think we've done quite well today. So thank you very much, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're playing along with me and um, maybe picking up some tips along the way. I don't know. But if you're still with me at the end of this video, please consider hitting that like button. It means a lot to me. And if you haven't already subscribed, uh, consider subscribing. And then you get notified when I release new videos. But meanwhile... Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.